I'm joined today by Buzz Carpenter, who's a docent here at the Udvar-Hazy Center, but also flew the SR-71. Thank you so much for joining us today. Beth, it's my pleasure to be here. Now, would you tell me a little bit, how were you recruited to fly the SR-71? Beth, it's an interesting story. I graduated from the Air Force Academy in 1967, and one of the Blackbirds flew by for our graduation ceremonies. And I had seen the airplane earlier when I was doing kind of a cadet internship at Edwards Air Force Base, but I really never expected to fly the airplane. On my way to Vietnam, and I'm flying tactical reconnaissance, RF-4s, I met a Colonel Jerry O'Malley. It turns out he flew the first operational mission in the SR-71 out of Okinawa, Japan, and uh, I would later serve under him. And he uh, kind of told me, he said, you're the kind of guy I think we're, we're looking for, but you're way too young and you don't have enough flying hours. So I became stationed at Okinawa, Japan, and flew as much as I possibly could. You had to be a volunteer, so you submitted an application to Beale Air Force Base in Northern California, and you included your personnel record, your medical record, and your flight record. And you hoped as they reviewed it, they would find something interesting and that they would call you back for a, a week-long evaluation. So I was called back. Uh, I was delighted. The first two days were an astronaut's physical. Wow. Then you had a series of interviews. And then as a pilot, I had to fly with two or three of the current SR-71 pilots in the companion trainer, the T-38, to see how I handled the airplane. Uh, I left at the end of the week. The wing commander said, everything looks OK. Um, you know, we'll get back with you. And a, about four months later, I received a telegram in Japan in December of six, uh, uh, 74 that I would be coming to Beale in July 75 and start training in this airplane. Yeah, I have a funny question. How did you heat up your lunch in this? You could heat up your lunch if you want, because it looked like a tube of toothpaste. And you put on, actually I have it in my pocket, a tube like this, you screwed it on, you broke the seal, and then you could hold this whole thing against the, the window, because my window was about 580 degrees because of the way the airplane heated. So that was one way, if you had a meal, that you could heat it actually in the cockpit. When you think of all the missions you flew, what's one that stands out? Which was one of your favorite ones? In March of 79, it's almost like the news today. The Saudi Arabians and the Yemenis were fighting along with some of the others, and the satellites were not in the right position. So it was the first time the British or your, any Europeans allowed us to fly out of Europe into the Middle East and come back there. So this is probably the most memorable mission. And President Carter monitored the mission the whole way. Okay. The interesting thing is the French wouldn't let us overfly. So instead of flying out of England and cutting across France into the Mediterranean, I had to fly around Portugal and Spain. So it ended up being nine hours and 45 minutes and five sets of refuelings. And two of the sets of tankers came out of Egypt. They didn't, they looked like regular tankers. So the Egyptians were not aware of exactly what we were doing collecting the information. Now, I understand there's an origin story that these things were called Habu. That's correct. They were first flown, the A-12, which was a single-seat CIA predecessor. They built beautiful facilities on the, at Kadena Air Base on the island of Okinawa in Japan. When the Japanese saw this airplane, when it takes off, it's black. It takes off rather steeply. It looks like almost like a cobra. They have a native snake on the island that's very poisonous that's called the habu. So the Japanese started calling this airplane the habu. The name stuck because the Air Force never came up with a, a different name to it, other than calling it the Blackbird. We call it the Blackbird, right. Exactly. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am delighted to be here.